quick vid on orange flames clutch kit going from a super tip all my racing design kit back to stock stock flash stock everything so just converting this here i uh, had thought i'd give a quick couple quick tips it's been a while um this this cover removes with four bolts around here so once you slide that off um you're you have access to the spider the spider um will not will, will move in and out um with once your belt is removed so you got to take your belt off um and then from there you have these set these little these are two and a half millimeter allen screws you have to back them out um so that there's a pin inside of here uh, once you get this bolt out um this bolt is ready to come out here i got it all loose then there's a pin there's two plastic washers here and here you push the pin out pull the weight put the new or i'm going to put the stock weight back in um and uh and swap out this uh, super tips adjustable which is a pretty cool weight but uh don't need it now we're stock so um once you get these pushed out push this back in um reassemble just so it looks like here tighten these down be very careful with these i've broken one of these um, I basically do, uh, with a small eight millimeter, um, wrench, I, I just do just, just to where I just feel it's just right, going to break. So I just go right to that edge and stop and that's done for the primary. I'll button that back up. I've got the, uh, the stock, um, uh, yellow, red, yellow, uh, spring. And, um, I looked up the specs on my Yamaha service manual that I got from ty 4 strokecom and you can get. Uh, the position I put my secondary back into three, three. Um, this was a little bit more of a challenge um, to figure out initially, but uh, on the sidewinder, this this big washer holds this in, so you can actually take these out and then loosen this slowly, and the the it'll pull the helix will or will, the spring will push this out. You got to be very careful because once it gets out so far, it wants to twist 60 degrees. Um, in my case, uh, BTXL uh, 175 track. Um, it goes to 60 degrees twist, 40, I think, from the you know, trail sleds. But um, pull this out, um, pull these out, and then this comes off. The spring just flops right back in. Good to go. So uh, easy peasy there. Just no, um, no, no good tips or tricks on that. You just got to kind of get it in there, push, get it in. I use this. Uh, this was actually a lot easier than the Apex where this big washer just held things in. I just kind of kept screwing this in temporarily until I got all of these lined up and then grab the back of the sheave and, and these bolts just slid right out. So worked out really, really well. Hopefully that helps somebody.